So in general, proving that a limit exists is can, can be very difficult. Proving that a limit doesn't exist, like I said, you just need to find uh, two different paths along which the limits don't agree. Um, in the example that we looked at uh, in the oh, for curved paths, so I had 2xy squared over x squared plus y to the fourth, something sort of magic happens when you do a substitution x equals um, y squared, um, and in which case this thing looks like uh, two y to the fourth over two y to the fourth. There's there's some sort of algebraic collapse or simplification. Things cancel out in a nice way. Sometimes you can spot something like that just by observation, which is math class slang for stare at it until your eyes bleed and hope you get lucky. Um, uh, otherwise, there's another thing that uh, I can point out to you. So for example, from, from number 14 for the homework in this section, so this is looking at x to the fourth minus y to the fourth over x squared plus y squared. Now, this one I know is going to go to zero at the origin, and I can tell because the top has uh, degree four and the bottom has degree two. And so a fourth degree um, polynomial at zero looks something like this. It goes to zero much faster than a, a quadratic, which, you know, a parabola looks much more something like this. So that um, those fourth order terms are, are going to go to zero much faster and drive the entire expression to zero. So general uh, rule of thumb, if the numerator has a strictly larger degree than the, the denominator, then that means that the whole thing is going to go to zero. Um, and if you look at sort of the, the opposite situation, so let's look at number 15 from this section. So this is uh, x squared y over x to the fourth plus four y squared. So in this case, uh, I've got the opposite thing going on. I have uh, the bottom has degree four. So, so there is this quadratic term, but the biggest term wins. That determines like the whole behavior of how the function, yeah, how the function behaves at a particular point. Um, and the top has degree three, right? So we've got two plus one is equal to three. Total degree three for that top term there. And so as a consequence, uh, the bottom is the strongest here. So this one is not gonna converge. It's gonna diverge off to infinity. And actually, um, I don't even know if it goes to positive infinity uh, because of, of the possible different signs of X and Y depending upon how you approach the origin. So I should just uh, take that back and say that it does not exist because of that. Um, and then if, if you actually check in the uh, book, you'll see that I lied a little here. 15 is actually x squared y e to the y over x to the fourth plus uh, 4y squared. And this guy doesn't actually matter at all. Its presence there is completely immaterial because we're looking at zero. And this function is um, positive. Um, <coughs> and bounded when its argument is equal to zero. So that means it's not going to affect the, um, the convergence of this limit at all. And you should remember that from your uh, calc one or your calc three or something. Um, so similarly, if, if I were to modify something like, maybe let's go back to that uh, other one that we saw, x4 minus y to the four over x squared plus y squared, uh, if I add on some function that is um, bounded near zero and uh, also that does not take the value zero at zero, um, that won't affect the convergence of this whatsoever. Now, I do need to worry a little bit about if I say subtract something um, from the denominator here because uh, sine of x 
is x minus x cubed over 3 plus x to the fifth over 5 minus da 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 from your uh, Taylor series that you studied back in Calc 3. And so that means that putting this term in the bottom has, it's, it's like putting all of this junk in the bottom. And in particular, that first part is going to be an x squared term because of the 2 right on here. x squared canceling the x squared. Oh, look at that. Now we've got something that's going to 0 quadratically. Um, you maybe want to worry about that or check it out.